Hello, my name is Stephen Matthew. I'd like to tell you the story of the restoration of our cathedral's organ and of the extraordinary vision, commitment, generosity and effort that went into this project between roughly 2015 and 2018. I was lucky enough to be on the Cathedral Council at that time as people's warden and I can tell you sometimes it was quite a roller coaster ride. In the 1980s, in David Swale's time, our organ was some 50 years old. It was commissioned in 1929. It was beginning to show its age and the then council decided to get some quotes on a renovation or a rebuild. In 1984, it was resolved to spend some 22,000 on a partial rebuild. But only two years later, the blower blew up. So we had to import another blower from England at a cost of $16,000. In 1999, Shirley Gale took over as organist of the cathedral and she was soon reporting that the organ was failing. An organ restoration fund was established but only a very few donors contributed to it. A local organ builder reported that the condition of the organ is deteriorating rapidly. What to do? Well, in 2008, quotes were received for a rebuild and restoration of the organ. They were quite frightening. Harrison and Harrison of Durham quoted $1,090,000, and this was considered a figure far too large to finance. Frank Nelson arrived as our Dean in October 2012. Soon after his arrival, plans were being put in place for a celebration of the 150th birthday of the Cathedral in 2019. Grand visionary schemes were tossed around which described what the Cathedral might look like in the future. But there were gremlins. Plaster was falling from the walls, in the narthex and in the choir. Leaks were observed in several places and safety issues in the ceiling and on the roof all had to be considered and somehow financed. An extensive conservation plan was commissioned and adopted and it still informs current renovations which are happening as we speak. In the midst of this, how could we finance the restoration of the organ? How could it be managed? Well, within the cathedral community, we had people with the capacity to source large and small sums of money. We had engineers and we had project managers and we also had fine leadership. It needed enthusiasm and vision to lead a project that was budgeted eventually to cost over $2 million. It was a committed diocese, but a nervous cathedral council which signed a contract with Harrison's in 2016. Four organ builders arrived in Adelaide the next year. They had to be accommodated and fed, and they needed full access to the cathedral to box every part of this 3,209 pipe organ. Issues of insurance, visas, transport, all had to be addressed. To raise funds, there was a launch at an empty cathedral event, jam jars were filled with small change, large donors were identified, Friends of the Cathedral and the Music Foundation made donations. All were encouraged to give as they saw fit. Many people gave a second and third time. The good news is that the funds were raised and David Keir played to a packed cathedral on Advent Sunday 2018. We now have one of the finest organs in the Southern Hemisphere.